Hey guys, this is Dan Wolwack with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Today I'm going to be picking up from a project that I did a past video on, which was making charcoal. And what I'm going to be actually making today is black powder. So to make black powder, there's of course the charcoal, which we made in a previous video, and two other ingredients that you're going to need. And those two other ingredients are ingredients that you would actually need to bring into a setting like this from the research I've done. Um, they're not very easily accessible in a wilderness setting. So first would be sulfur. Now, if you're going to purchase sulfur, um, this is called flowers of sulfur. And basically, it is food grade sulfur that is already ground into a powder, which is very similar to like all purpose flour. Second ingredient is potassium nitrate, which is also called saltpeter. And saltpeter is used for preserving meats, sausages, kielbasa, things like that. So you're gonna need some of that. And the last thing is your charcoal. Now, the charcoal, which I actually have laying here, of course, when you first char it, you're gonna have lumps of it like this. So all of these ingredients need to be in a fine powder, the same as all-purpose flour would need to be. So by buying flours of sulfur, that eliminates any kind of processing of this material. The saltpeter is small granules, which look like salt granules, but that needs to be ground up even further. And the charcoal needs to be ground up even further. Now there's a couple things you can do. Number one, you can place the material in a can and muddle it together, which is just grinding it until it come, becomes a powder. But what seems a little bit easier is taking a piece of leather, something like this, and actually laying your material inside, which I'm right now working on some of the charcoal, placing that on the inside, folding it up, and then just hammering away at it. Okay, now while I'm doing that, there's some powder actually coming out, so that means it's getting to the consistency that I want. So I'm gonna do that. I'll get a close-up of that here in a second, but that's actually what I'm looking for is real fine, fine powder like all-purpose flour. So I'm going to finish up the charcoal, then I'm going to move on to the saltpeter. Once all three ingredients are to their powder consistency, we'll talk about the ratios to actually make the black powder. So let me grab the camera, show you guys quickly what that powder's starting to look like. And as you can see, there's still some bigger pieces in there so all that needs to be worked out so I'm going to continue to work with this and then move on like I said to the saltpeter and we'll talk about the ratios and how we're going to move forward so I have my charcoal my saltpeter and my sulfur so what I'm going to do next now is make up my first batch and talk about um, how we're actually going to ration this stuff off the ratios so I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to mix it all on this piece of leather here and then I'm gonna just with my knife with my fingers you can put this in a container and keep mixing it um, to get your final product now if you weren't in a wilderness setting of course what you can do is you can take all these ingredients measure them out on a powder measure for reloading and then put them in a ball mill and a ball mill is basically looks like a rock tumbler that little kids put rocks in to make shiny with lead balls and just let that keep running and that's gonna take the particles and almost smash them together and that'll make your powder even faster but we don't have any of that stuff out here all that we really have today is this powder measure that I used when I was making a antler powder measure um, and this has graduations all the way up to 150 grains okay so the recipe that I'm using uh, after some research was from an old book from the turn of the century and the ratios basically are you're going to use your potassium nitrate which is your saltpeter you're going to use 100 parts of that so i'm going to set this to 100 grains and i'm gonna Okay, so there's 100 grains of saltpeter. Next, I'm gonna take my charcoal that I worked through, and that's 18, okay? So I'm gonna use 18 grains. 
Now, when I read about this recipe, they actually talked about um, 100 parts saltpeter, 18 parts charcoal. So I'm just doing that in grains. Now I figured out mathematically where, um, if I want a half a pound of powder, I'm gonna have to do this recipe approximately 25 times to get 8 ounces of powder. So I'm going to do this one time and I'll just keep doing this up to 25 times and I'll have my half a pound of powder. And lastly is 16 parts, or in this case 16 grains, of sulfur. So basically all I'm going to do, I have a little bit of a divot in here, which is fine because these um, graduations here are only in five grain so I'm just, I know if I go a little bit less then I have it set on 18 grains now if I have it set if I have it keep it there and use a little bit less I'm at 16 grains so 16 grains of sulfur 18 grains of charcoal and a hundred grains of salt Peter all right so I'm gonna do this 24 more times to have enough powder. So once I get that started, I'm gonna do the same process. I'm gonna just fold this over, and I'm just gonna to start to hit it, work it around on the inside. Mix it up. And you could use a stick for this. You can just use your fingers for this. You wanna get this more and more and more ground up. big pieces of anything in there of course you want to get them out if you missed it like this one right here of charcoal and I'm going to continue this process okay so every so often flip it over and pound it that's just going to make it even more of a powder or anything that I missed time consuming but it's not too bad all right so I'm gonna keep working on this once I get all my powder done then I'll get back to you and we'll shoot a load out of the gun see how it works and go from there okay guys so here's the powder okay and as you can tell it has a lot more grayish of a look than um, if you get traditional black powder so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one shot first just with nothing. We're just going to see it, making sure that the primer actually ignites the powder. And then we'll throw a little bit of bird shot in and see how it shoots with that. Okay, so let's have a small piece of leather here and my single shot shotgun. So we'll stick the adapter in with the primer. And we're going to put 100 grains of powder in because that's normally what I shoot for my shotgun. <laughs> now I know this is definitely not going to be as fast as normal powder just because of the circumstances that I'm making it in. But if it shoots and I can get some something to come out of here that will be perfect. Put this down. I'm going to go right back here and grab my stick. And let's see if I have something in here. Shooting bag. I have some sheep's wool. So we'll load that down just to hold the powder in place. Okay. So my friend Dan, he's actually going to man the camera here. We're just going to go over in this section, take a shot. Like I said, there's nothing in here. So 
So if anything would happen, it's just gonna come out the front. So see, let's see what happens. Test fire one of black powder. So it actually shot pretty good. Um, you could smell that sulfur really burning. Let's throw a little bit of, um, I'm gonna get this all set up the same way. We'll put a little bit of bird shot in and take a quick shot. Okay, so we're gonna set it up the same way this time, guys. Now I was pretty happy with how that sounded and shot. So there is some, on some of the research I did, um, you can take this powder, which I might try, and actually make it into a dough-like consistency. So with that, you can use just some water. They do say stale urine. I'm assuming there's something in the urine. You make it like a dough-like consistency, let it dry and then break it back down, and that should make it even faster. But it seems like it's working okay right now. So let's get that locked in. Add our powder. Gonna do another 100 grains. down 100 grains of well a volume size of shot this is six shot there's too many of those drop those down top it off with some more sheep's wool just to hold it in place And this sheep's wool is good to carry in your shooting bag just because you can use it on the trap line too or if you need to clean anything. And it's a natural, there's natural lanolin in that, so it lubes your barrel at least a little bit. All right, so Dan again is going to take the camera, take the shot, and take the rest in here. And I always, whenever I'm testing any type of firearm, as you notice in the last, I didn't shoulder it. Just until I'm comfortable enough that I know everything's going to be okay, I try to keep myself clear of the firearm. Um, there's probably safer ways to do it, but that's the way I always have done it. So we'll take a shot with this, see how it works. Test fire black powder with shot. Alright guys, so that was making a black powder. Remember, it could be dangerous. Um, you want to keep away when you're especially when you're mixing all that stuff You don't be next to a fire or have anything any type of open flame or anything like that that can ignite it um, I hope you enjoyed the video stay safe when you're in the woods until the next video. This was Dan from Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Thanks guys